The StatPak HIV-1 and 2 test consists of the following components. The StatPak HIV-1 and 2 test device, HIV running buffer bottle, green cap, and a disposable 5 microliter sampling loop. Materials not provided include a clock, watch, or timing device. Remove the StatPak HIV-1 and 2 device from the foil pouch and allow it to reach room temperature. Obtain a venous or fingertip blood sample according to your normal laboratory practices. If you're taking a sample from a fingertip, wipe away the first drop of blood after pricking the finger and sample from the second drop. Touch the tip of the 5 microliter sampling loop to the drop of the blood until the loop is filled with blood. If you're taking a sample from venous blood, serum, or plasma-drawn tube, you can use the 5 microliter sampling loop or a lab pipette that can deliver 5 microliters. Place the StatPak device on a flat surface. Label the device with the patient name or identification. Touch the 5 microliter loop to the specimen, allowing the loop to fill. Hold the loop vertically. Touch it to the sample pad in the center of the sample S well of the device to dispense the 5 microliter of sample to the sample pad. Invert the running buffer bottle and hold it vertically, not at an angle, over the sample well. Add three drops of buffer slowly, drop for drop, into the sample well. Now, wait 15 minutes. Read results between 15 and 20 minutes. Do not read after 20 minutes. A pink-purple line should always appear in the control area, whether or not a line appears in the test area. If there is no distinct pink-purple line visible in the control area, then the test is invalid. Any lines that appear outside of the control area or the test area is an invalid test. An invalid test cannot be interpreted and it's recommended that the invalid test be repeated with a new device. One pink-purple line in the control area with no line in the test area indicates a non-reactive test result. A non-reactive test result means that HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies were not detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as negative for HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies. However, this does not exclude possible infection with HIV. Follow CDC or your individual country's guidelines to inform the test subject of the test result and its interpretation. Two pink-purple lines, one in the test area and one in the control area, indicate a reactive test result. The line in the test area may look different from the line in the control area. Intensities of the test and control lines may vary. Test result with visible lines in both test and control areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies have been detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as preliminarily positive for HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Follow CDC or your individual country's guidelines to inform the test subject of the test results.